Hello, I really do hope you're still there. You are there, aren't you? I've been looking forward to this hour so much, I really have. Now, this is right up my street. This is Ragged Life, brand new supplier here to Achanda. We've got a wonderful guest with us as well, Elspeth, who we will be meeting in a little while. I'm going to let her describe a lot about the company and uh, talk us through, you know, how the company came about. But we're talking about rag, uh, rag rug techniques. Now, this is really, really important. I love this because when you think about things you've got around your home, bits of clothing, old blankets, it's that sort of thing we used to make the rag rugs out of them we used to cut them up well we're going to be offering you some fabulous kits today but you don't have to worry about finding those clothes. We're going to be offering you the materials to create these. Now, we're going to talk through everything as we go through. I think it'll be easy to sort of describe everything as we go along. And we are going to introduce, of course, our wonderful guest. I'm going to say a very good afternoon and hello and welcome to Achanda, to Elspeth. There she is, just waving us in Hi, the little Catherine. box. We will let her out of that little box in a little while. We'll see her in full in the studio here and we'll let Elspeth tell us all about the company as well. But brand new here, so, so excited. Excited. Now let's have a look at what we've got on offer for you because we have got different kits for you. Now we're just going to keep Elspeth in the little box there just for now so we've got any questions we can ask Elspeth about them. So starting off with well what we've got here we have got the Ragged Life Easy Peasy Rug Starter Kit. Now this does include of course full instructions. You are getting a blanket yarn. Now there's something very special about these yarns and I'm going to hand over to Elspeth in a minute to tell us about those. You're also getting a set of tools that of course are essential for creating your your kit and then of course you're going to get your hessian as well you also get a pen included which is going to be an important tool for you as simple as it seems uh, now then there are two different options now you can go for what I've just described there with the tools that I've just described but we've also got another option that does include a pair of scissors. I'm just going to bring those scissors in so you can see. So two different item numbers for you. So if you go in for the one at the side of the screen, that is without the scissors, first of all. We have got a Flexibuy option for you. The price is $44.99. We can split that into two payments if you so wish to use that. So that uh, brings it down into two payments of, we'll just spin that around, £22.50, of course. 720165. If you do want the scissors included these are rag rug scissors so the details at the bottom of the screen I am going to ask Elspeth why are these so important then Elspeth um, it's a question I get asked an awful lot and I guess a lot of us crafters we've already got some scissors so why do I need to buy a new pair you don't have to but these scissors have been specifically designed for rag rigging to cut through lots of layers of fabric at the same time ah. because in rag rigging it's not about precision it's not about it looking perfect but just being able to cut large amounts of fabric really quickly and easily is going to make it a lot more fun wonderful and a great price as well when you look at the extra on that ex you know with the scissors included it is a great price you can see it does say here well they're eight and a half inches in length for a start you've also got they're super sharp if you're cutting old t-shirts blankets all sorts of different fabrics these are what you need so if you want the scissors included make sure you do go for the option that does include those now let's have a look at the easy peasy rug. Now we do have some samples in the studio. Now I've got to say, we have got a wonderful rug behind me. That isn't the size of the finished one. We've got some over with, with Elspeth. In fact, she's got plenty around there. I don't know, we can just see in the little box there, we can get a close up, but behind Elspeth, we can see the rug as well. So I'm gonna ask Elspeth again to tell us about this, but also this is a great opportunity for you to tell us, Elspeth, about the yarn the blanket yarn that comes in the kits. Tell us about that. So our blanket yarn is, we work with some of the mills in Britain. When they make blankets and scarves, they cut a lovely selvage edge off, which is waste product for them. But obviously it's absolutely beautiful quality. It's all 100% wool. Some of it's cashmere, some of it's lamb's wool. It's super soft. And because it comes conveniently cut into these wonderful strips, I can't think of a better craft than rag rugging to use them up. Amazing. This is why it's so important because there is no waste. Those bits that you would think, do you know, why is somebody getting rid of those? They are, I've got to tell you, this is so, so soft. Now, the other thing that I've got to mention as well is because these are salvage edges, because these are off cuts, so to speak, or the waste that would have been, you will get something similar. We cannot guarantee you'll get exactly the same yarn so the colors might vary slightly but the color ways will be as we're showing you now i've just got to show you this little book as well the rug 
uh, rag rug techniques now this is a really lovely little book it tells you all about the yarn the blanket yarn in there as well about the tools but also the different techniques that you're going to be using really love this I mean when you think 100% wool a little rug, you know, whether it's just an occasional rug, whether you want to put it in the kitchen to stand on, when, whether you're at your sink so it's keeping your feet warm, you know, so, so useful. But you will know that you have sat and you've put that together, you've spent the time with a technique that is very, very old as well. Absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful to keep those techniques alive. So there you go. You're going to get that little book in there. That is our first kit. So new today, of course, because everything's new, 720-165. And of course, that will make your your rug the ones that we can see behind Elspeth you can see are still in the little box there we'll let her back out in a, in a while but we'll move on because we've got much more to show you from rugs we're moving on to cushions so the cushion kit again what you're going to get we're going to give you the options again here you can go for the kit without the scissors but you can also go for this one with the scissors included so it will be different item numbers again bottom of the screen for the kit with the scissors included side of the screen if you're not wanting the scissors included now this time you've still got the hessian you've still got the tools you've still got the pen of course you're going to get your blanket yarn again but the instructions are going to be for the cushion now there are lots of beautiful samples around the studio I have got some behind me the actual size of the cushions that you're seeing behind me are the size that you will be creating from this pattern these are beautiful they're absolutely beautiful and again Oh, I so wish you could reach in and feel this yarn, this blanket yarn. It is so wonderfully soft. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, because of the nature of this and how these have been put together, uh, the colour might, might vary slightly from one kit to another, but of course, you are going to get quality wool blanket yarn included. So, side of the screen there, the price split down into a flexi buy option £22.50, two payments, 959936 with the scissors at the bottom there. Nine two zero four eight two now something very different now this is Lottie our lovely producer she loves this and I agree something fun now what about making a beautiful bouquet of flowers now I've got a couple behind me as well so we'll have a look at those in this little while but this is a fun project again you've got that blanket yarn so it's a hundred percent wool but what a great way of displaying some beautiful florals that you've created using these materials that once would have been just discarded great to have in your craft room as well so you can look at them every day do you know they're not going to go droopy are they either these are absolutely beautiful now it's the same principle again you've got the kit without the scissors but you're going to get the tool the hessian the tools the hessian the yarn the instructions everything i've got to say comes in a little bag as well which is so so nice really lovely there we go 22 pounds and 50 pence per payment again all kits are the same price 454 183 bottom of the screen again if you want to include those scissors so be careful which one you choose now we have got more just before we go to Elspeth I've just got something else I need to tell you about because of course when it comes to the blanket yarn you might be wanting more you might be wanting to go for different colors so let's have a look at these as well because we have got available for you the different blanket yarns now there are different colors Color options again what you're seeing on the screen won't be exactly what you will get not everybody can get exactly the same because of the nature of the material but you will get the colors that you are choosing so if you're going for neutral you're going to get neutrals if you're going for multicolored you're going to get multicolored so you've got those various different choices now you're getting nine pounds and 99 pence is the price here 250 grams a hundred percent wool now we've also got all of the kits together so if you want to go for everything that we've talked about so that would be the rug the cushion and also the floral bouquet you can go for these as well so to get every one of those kits together 69.99 now because you're getting the different patterns the instructions you won't need three sets of tools you'll get one set of tools but you're going to get all those instructions to create those three different sets uh, and all the materials of course that you're going to need to create those so absolutely stunning great price as I say and on a freedom price as well freedom members you're making a saving and you've got a flexi buy option as well so freedom members definitely well worth going for this in fact the saving there for freedom members did I just see that was eight pounds that means it's a why not deal 
because freedom membership is six pounds and 97 pence so you're saving more than you'd be spending to be a freedom member so bear that in mind as well if you're not already a member uh, do you know what I think I've talked enough let's let's hand over to Elspeth I'm so excited about this show I love anything that involves fabric and especially things that would have been discarded and we can now use Elspeth it's all yours thanks Catherine for the intro um, so I thought that I would spend my time talking to you guys about how easy rag rugging is to do because obviously it's one of the most accessible crafts as we said finding fabric is as simple as just going into your wardrobe having a bit of a spring clean um, but I just want to show you that rag rugging is for everyone so I'll give you a little bit of an intro to the tools that come in each of the kits so that you know what's what then I'll explain how you create strips of fabric from old clothing and then I'm going to show you two different techniques of rag rigging that you'll learn in the kit and that you'll have all the tools to do so I'm going to be showing you how to do the traditional shaggy style of rag rigging which is this lovely one here um, this one is sometimes called proggy or proddy uh, the nice thing about rag rigging is because it's got a really rich heritage there are actually regional names for rag rigging in different places in the country maybe you know a few of them that I don't let me know um, but I'm also going to be showing you how to do this loopy style of rag rigging here this one's really lovely because you can create really quite pictorial, beautiful kind of detailed pieces. So whether you're a neat person, loopy, or whether you're slightly more wild like me, hopefully there'll be a technique that'll appeal to you. So I'm now going to just explain what the tools are that come in the kit so that you know what's what's what. And all of these tools come in all of the kits, regardless of which kit you get. So the first tool that I'm going to mention is my absolute favourite. It looks slightly scary, don't take it in hand luggage anywhere. Um, this is called a rag rug spring tool and this is the easiest and quickest tool to do rag rugging with. It's mainly specialised for doing this shaggy technique which is the easiest and possibly the most fun technique to do. So this one's the rag rug spring tool. This little gadget here always confuses everyone, uh, no one entirely knows what it's for, but this is a really simple gadget that's worth its weight in gold. Um, it's called a rag rug gauge. With this loopy technique of rag rigging, this flat one, you're using long strips, which is why the blanket yarn is so great, and you're kind of continuously weaving them through the hessian. With this shaggy technique of rag rigging, you're using individual strips that are all about seven centimetres in length. With the lovely rag rig gauge, you wrap your long strips around it, cut down that groove at the top, and you're left with perfect length pieces that are all exactly the same. So you get a really nice uniform rag rig out of that. This tool may be familiar to a few of you. If anyone's done ready cut rugs before, um, it's the good old latch hook. Um, and this is the main tool which I use to do the loopy technique of rag rigging. And this is just a lovely little thing to come in the kit as a bonus because when you're doing a rag rug for the first time you may want to do it random you may just want to get all of your little off cuts cut them all up put them in a bag and just make a completely sporadic rug or you may be an artist and you may want to do something a bit more interesting so you can actually use this marker pen to sketch onto your hessian and create a design so Every single one of the kits comes with a piece of hessian that's been hemmed for the particular project. So the Easy Peasy Rug Kit has a 100 by 60 centimetre rug hessian. It's all been secured around the outside of the rug, which means you don't need to do anything on the sewing machine, which I think a few of you will probably be, you know, sigh of relief at that. Um, then the cushion kit comes with a cushion sized piece of hessian which makes a 40 by 40 cushion. And then the bouquet hessian is all beautifully hemmed to make seven beautiful everlasting rag rug flowers. And as Catherine said, you're not gonna have to water these ones. The lovely thing about our Ragged Life Hessian is it's all the perfect weave for doing rag rugging because the last thing you want after you've put in a whole load of hard work making your rug is for it to fall apart and bits to be falling out. This weave of Hessian is exactly the right weave. It's tight enough that your pieces are going to be held in really nice and securely but it's loose enough that it's not hard on your hands. You'll really enjoy rag rugging, I'm absolutely sure. Um, and of course you get that beautiful ball of blanket yarn included. 
and we can't guarantee certain colours because the beauty of these, this product is it's actually recycled. So we're using up stuff that would otherwise go to waste. But we can guarantee that we're going to choose really nice ones so that you're going to enjoy using them to make your project. So now that I've just given a little bit of a brief intro to the tools that are in your kits, I'm going to explain how you break down old clothing into the strips to be able to do rag rugging. So I've got a quite little natty shirt here and I'm not going to use all of it, but I did want to show you that I'm not cheating. I'm not using a lovely fat quarter. I've just raided my wardrobe and I can totally imagine myself wearing this and I found a shirt. So the first step is I'm going to get out my pair of wonderful rag rug scissors because as I said, these make rag rug preparation an absolute doddle. They're a must have and I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to be really careful because these are the tank of the scissor world. They are made for getting through lots of layers, so fingers beware. So I'm just going to start off by cutting along one edge of a seam. And the nice thing about rag rigging is actually you really don't have to be very accurate. This is the most forgiving craft you'll ever try. I actually have to sometimes tell off dressmakers and patchworkers because they take it a little bit, uh, take a little bit to get used to how slapdash the process is. Um, but I'm just going to isolate first off one block of fabric. So if I was preparing this entire shirt, I would start off by almost reverse dressmaking it. So I would break it down into the blocks from which it was originally made but I'm just going to focus on the back block because I haven't got you all day. It's then about working out what you can and can't use from your block of fabric. So here I've got a hem. I actually cut that hem and actually you can even tear cotton to make a usable strip. And you can see just how wonky that is. But the beautiful thing is it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. It will look exactly the same in a rag rug. Once I've got my block of fabric, I'm going to cut my strips really quickly by getting my block of fabric, folding it in half, then into quarters, then into eighths, and then into sixteenths. Need to check my maths there. Um, so once I've got to that stage, sometimes that first edge is a little bit jagged. Doesn't matter. As I said, this is your detox from those precise crafts. Because my um, fabric is fairly springy, I'm just going to weigh it down with the gauge. It's not something you have to do, but it's one of those little tricks I've picked up over the years. And then I'm going to cut my lovely long strips by cutting through lots of layers of fabric at the same time. And the average width of strip which I'm creating is roughly two and a half centimetres. It's about the same width as these blanket yarns that obviously we're selling today are, which is why having those blanket yarns is great because you don't have to do all this prep. Um, so you just keep going and when those open out, they open out into a lovely usable strip. So just so you can see, this is one of those beautiful blanket yarns which we were showing earlier, all 100% wool. Um, and these are already prepped into those strips, so you don't need to do this part of the process. But now I'm going to show you how to do that traditional shaggy technique of rag rugging. So as I mentioned, you get all the tools to do both techniques, so you don't need to choose one or the other. If you like them both, you can even do a project using both techniques, like this one here. A little natty sunflower there. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this shaggy technique first, which means that we're going to have to prep our fabric by wrapping it around the gauge. And I'm actually going to use some of this blanket yarn because why not? It's so nice. And what I'm going to do is just wrap my strip around and around and around. And I keep wrapping it around the gauge and oh, it would help if my ball was on the right. And then when I run out of gauge, I can actually budge it along, create a bit more space. And I keep wrapping until I run out of space like this. And then I'm just gonna snip it off there. 
and what I'm going to do now is just cut down that groove at the top. Ooh. So what I'm now left with is all of these short pieces of fabric that are all exactly the same length. Um, and that's what's going to give your rug that really nice, thick, soft pile that you just want to sink your feet into. Um, so, Hessian. You can see here that I've got a little bit of a stitch circle that's on this Hessian. You can ignore that. It's just sometimes I like to make these little mini mats um, and that stitching just means that I can cut them out and attach them to bags and things like that. So as I mentioned, the best tool for this particular technique is this wonderful spring tool that comes in all of the kits. And what I'm gonna do is first of all, just show you, this is the spring tool when it's closed. And then this is the spring tool when it's open. So closed, open. It's really important that you keep the spring tool closed at the very beginning. And you're gonna go down into the Hessian and you're just gonna weave across the top of the Hessian so that you can capture a couple of strands onto that barrel. Once you've got through the Hessian, you open up the end, you grab onto the corner of the strip, and I normally do this flat on the surface, so I'm just gonna do this now. I grab on and I just pull half through. So you can see that I've got half of my blanket yarn strip on one side of the Hessian and half on the other side. That is shaggy rag rigging. So only a few thousand more and you'll have a rag rug. Um, rag rigging is not a quick craft, but it's incredibly mindful because it's very repetitive, it's very therapeutic. So once you've got your first piece of rag rigging in, it's then about missing out a few strands of hessian between each piece and the next and just continuing on. So because our blanket yarn is so lovely and thick and lush, it means that we can miss out more strands between one piece and the other because the thicker your fabric is, the further apart you can rag rug, which is why it's so lovely to work with because actually it takes you a lot less time to make your rug when you're having to rag rug a little bit further apart. It also saves you a bit of fabric too. So I'm now going to miss out two strands in the hessian, weaving across the top, opening up the end of the spring tool, grabbing onto the corner of the short edge of my strip again, and then flat on the surface, just carefully wiggling through so that I've got half on one side, half on the other side. And just so you can see what it looks like from the back, you almost have these little kind of bobbles on the back. Some people prefer the back to the front, which is quite funny, um, but I guess it depends on the design. Um, and all you do is just keep going. Can tell Elspeth, yeah, hit me. I have a question for you. Now, yes. obviously, you're using the blanket yarn there, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I, again, I've just got to say how soft this is. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. But because you started off showing us how you can cut into your own clothing and different fabrics and mm -hmm. things that we've got, is there any fabric that you would say isn't going to be suitable? Is there anything that's too thin or too thick? It's a really good question. And actually, it's one of the reasons why I brought this little sample with me because it shows so many different fabrics all in the two techniques. So this little sample has everything from t-shirt material, cotton, you've got synthetic there, you've got fleece, you've got swimming costume, knitted Ooh. fabrics, lace, denim. Um, you pretty much name it, I've tried rag rugging with it. There are a couple of things that I don't like working with. So particularly if you're doing something for the home, like a rug or a cushion, uh, where it's gonna be getting a fair amount of wear in the house, I don't particularly like using fabrics that are gonna fray and shed a lot, because it just means you're gonna be vacuuming all the time. So cotton, even though it frays a little bit, um, that's absolutely fine, because the fraying adds beautiful texture to things. Um, so actually this cushion over here has been made using entirely men's shirts, um, and actually it's got my, one of my granddad's shirts in, so it's also got sentimental value. Um, but things that shed a lot tend to be things like thick upholstery fabric, um, really loosely woven jumpers, anything that it's almost very loosely woven, it'll break down into the fibers. But other than that, pretty much anything goes, which is so, you know, so lovely. And you can blend the different weights together, which I think is something that people don't necessarily realize. You don't have to, because 
the rug kit comes with a ball of blanket yarn. That ball of blanket yarn won't do your entire rug, but it will give you a good amount of fabric to start off with. And then you can look in your wardrobe, see what other things you've got lying around and blend different fabrics with it. And actually that adds texture, which looks lovely. Yeah. So, um, yes. So that was the shaggy technique of rag rigging, which gives you this really thick, lush feel. Um, I'm now going to show you how to do the loopy technique of rag rigging because some of people prefer it because it's got a much neater, tighter finish. Um, so this particular rug that's on the front here, if you can see it, has been done using entirely blanket yarn. Um, and you can see how beautiful and you know, soft and cosy it looks, but it's a much neater finish. So that is done using long strips of fabric. So I'm going to use this blanket yarn one again, and I'm going to cut off a little bit so I haven't got a giant tail. And this is a little bit of a trick for you. Obviously, you can rag rug with the blanket yarn full width, as I have done here. But actually, with the loopy technique, I like to make my blanket yarn go even further by cutting it up the middle so that it's half the width. And you can actually get different textures from exactly the same blanket yarn with that little trick. So here, I've just cut that strip in half lengthways, um, and that will give a very different effect. So I'll show you how that looks now. So that's done using this gadget, the latch hook. Um, so the latch hook is basically the most entry level rag rigging tool. It's the kind of one that actually I first got into rag rigging and I didn't realize this tool even existed. So I did 10 years entirely with the latch hook, but now I can't imagine life without the spring tool. So I wouldn't recommend that one on its own. Um, and actually the nice thing is that that spring tool that we've got in all of our kits is based on an old vintage tool. Um, so, you know, we're keeping the heritage of rag rugging live. I'm sure many of you probably have relatives who maybe did rag rugging, um, who you may just not even know did it. So back to loopy rag rugging. So, as I said, this gives you that much flatter, tighter technique. This one, you're working from the front of the Hessian and the back of the Hessian. So I'm going to move some of this out the way so you can see a bit better what I'm doing. So you keep your latch hook open to start with and you push through from the front of the Hessian to the underside. And you want that dangly latch bit, that bit that's loose, to be on the underside. But you don't want the whole neck through, because if you've got the neck through, it's just you lose a bit of control. Once you've got there, you then grab onto the top of the strip. And I like to kind of um, make sure that that latch bit has trapped it nice and securely. And then you just pull through a single end to the top. And it's important that you pull a single end, not a loop. Um, you can actually vary the heights at which you do your loopy rag rigging. So you can either do them really tight and detailed, like this neon pink here, or you can do them really loose and blousy. Um, and they actually look a lot like petals when you do that. Um, so you can play around. But I'm going to first pull that first end to the height that I want my loops to be at. So I'm going to be practicing at about a centimetre, so roughly the depth of my finger in height. Then you miss out two strands in the Hessian, go from the front to the back. Don't worry about making notes to do with the spacing and things like that. If you buy one of our kits, the instruction booklet that comes with it is incredibly comprehensive. It's got everything to do with spacing in it, um, so you won't be left in a pickle then you're just placing the strip on, to on top of the hook, grabbing onto that strip, and you're just giving it a pull and a wiggle to just pull a lovely little bobble to the top. Um, and that's your first bit of loopy rag rigging. So you, just, you can get any direction you want. So if I was doing a straight line, I'd just keep going in a straight line. If I wanted to do a circle, I'd just change direction. But I'm going to miss out two strands in the Hessian 
and um, this spacing is good for our particular weave of hessian but obviously if you've got a looser weave um, you know you'd have to adjust your spacing and you're just pulling one little bobble through to the top and this is the kind of technique that when you get good at it people watch you do it and they can't understand how you're so quick at it uh, you know like those amazing knitters who can do it in front of the tv don't even look at it it's exactly the same with this technique so i'm just going to show you the back of the hessian again so you can see a bit better what i'm doing so i'm going through from the front to the back placing that strip over the top of the latch hook my latch bit will trap it onto the hook so it doesn't fall off and i'm just pulling a little loop to the top when you reach the end of your strip you never leave it pointing down to the underside of the hessian you always pull your first end and your last end of the strip through to the top of the hessian and then you would trim it to exactly the same height as all your rag ruggings at and that rag rugging looks a little bit lonely because it's all on its own at the moment but when you build up the loops to all the same height around it it creates this beautiful flat effect um, so just as I showed you the shaggy technique in all those different fabrics this is what the loopy technique looks like in all those different fabrics so you've got the t-shirt material at this end you've got cotton you've got fleece as I said even swimming costume can go in there denim up here uh, generally what I would say is as a beginner I would start off using soft fabrics because they're much easier to work with kind of work your way up to those denims and slightly harder stiffer fabrics which is why the blanket yarn is so great to work with um, because it's just really soft and nice to work with to begin with you know you are so good Elspeth you really really are uh -huh. first time on air I've got to say you are just so full of knowledge it's it's very obvious that you've been doing this a long time <laughs> and you know the heritage behind it all we're just going to have a quick look at the website we're going to come back to you in a little while and have a little bit of a recap absolutely amazing do send in your emails as well if you've got any questions now let's just go through a few things we've got the rug kit we've got the cushion kit we've got the bouquet kit as well now each of those come with the tools of course and the instructions everything you need now there are a couple of options for each because one of them comes without the scissors the other one comes with now the one we're looking at on the screen now does include the scissors there so you just go to the item number you can see their rag rug cushion and you've got the rag rug flowers and you've got the rug there as well so just choose the option or the options that you want there this item number there obviously as I say includes the scissors if you don't want those look for the other item number now the yarn options really really good buy these these remember a hundred percent wool blanket yarn 250 grams on each ball now you've got a choice of different colors there now we're showing you the different images on the screen we cannot say you'll get exactly the same fabric but you will get a you'll get a multicolored one or you'll get a, a neutral or you'll get a blue so it's all recycled obviously so you're doing everybody a favor here by going for this and it is so soft and beautiful it really really is absolutely gorgeous uh, I just love the idea of this the fact that we're offering you kits that have got everything included but also you can use your own fabrics and your own clothing that you've got around the house once you get going you're gonna have a lot of fun you really are do take advantage of all of the uh, offers that we've got on today as well and, and those extra balls of yarn if you want them as well with the different colors let's have another look at the kits themselves because the tools are very very important obviously I've got to be honest I've had a got rag rug in myself in a very long time ago and I'm the I'd never seen this tool before and now I've seen Elspeth using this how useful is that now obviously you've got a little guard on there as well because it has got quite a sharp point but extremely useful um, you're not going to be, want to be without that the latch hook of course is essential these tools are beautiful they've got wooden handles on them they're very very comfortable to hold and of course you've got that gauge there as well for measuring out those different lengths of fabric so easy to use we saw that in demonstration you've got your pen in there as well you've got your little cloth 
off. Obviously, you're getting your instructions and you're getting the Hessian required. Now, we're looking at the rug at the moment, so I'm just actually going to open this up. So this is the size of the Hessian for the rug. It's absolutely fantastic as a size because it's a very, very good piece, whether you use it in a porchway, in your lounge, in your kitchen, in your bathroom even, depending on uh, what materials. Obviously, you're getting the, the blanket yarn in with this kit, um, so it's very, very warm. I would want mine in my kitchen because I live in a cottage and it's quite cold on the floor. Now, also, something else I'm going to mention as well, you do get your, rug, uh, your rag rug technique book, which is a comprehensive book. I will tell you that. You've got the different techniques in there, lots of knowledge in there as well. But also on the back, there's lots of information about where you can find other information as well, extra resources for you. So you've got that back up. If you're a little bit stuck, you can find tutorials and all sorts. So very useful looking at that. Everything's been thought about. Details there on the screen. If you want to go for the rugs, 720165. That is going to get you, of course, the kit there. If you don't want the scissors included, that's at the side of the screen. Two payments, £22.50 and pence if you want to take the FlexiBuy option. If you do want those fabulous scissors included, just go for the option at the bottom of the screen. And there you go. You've got the extra, um, extra benefit of those there for that little bit of extra money. Now, moving on down, we've got the cushion kit for you. So again, the same principle, you're getting all those tools that I've mentioned, you're getting the pen, you're getting the full instructions, of course, you're getting that techniques book. I'm just going to open out the cushion panel for you of the Hessian, really good size cushion, actually, this, really, really good size. We've got lots of samples around the studio as well. They look amazing, they really, really do. And of course, you're going to get your blanket yarn included, so that gets you going. But then once you've got the technique, then you can turn, the, turn those cushions or your different projects into something with your own clothing I love the idea and Elspeth said it, it was the first thing that sprung to mind if you've got someone that maybe as as you know as, as not here anymore and you've got a piece of clothing and you want to remember them what better way than to turn it into something that you've got in your home that you've created that is a constant memory of that person I just think it's a lovely idea so the cushions there aren't they beautiful 44 pounds and 99 pence again again you've got the flexi buy option so two payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence 959 936 if you do want those scissors included bottom of the screen once again for that particular kit now, I love the idea of the bouquet. Let's have a look at that one again, because the bouquet, if you think, you know, I want something that I've made and I'm going to have it sit in my bedroom, my craft room, in the lounge, do you know, again, using clothing that means something to you. Maybe you've got a favourite item that perhaps you don't want to part with, but it doesn't fit anymore, it's got a hole in it. What better way than to recycle it? But of course, in the kits, you are getting the yarn included as well, so you've got lots of scope there. 454183 is the item number. If you want to go for the floral bouquet, really love it, I love this idea. It's great, it really is. And again, bottom of the screen there, if you want to go for the kit with the scissors included. Now, Let's have a look at the yarns as well, because we have got those different colour options for you. We did see them earlier. Now we've got a whole host of colours here. Let's have a look. We've got, oh, these are just stunning. You did see the drop down menu on the website. Now you will get one. This is what you could be receiving. As I said, I've got to keep repeating it just in case anybody didn't sort of clock on when I first said it. Because of the nature of the yarn, because these are selvage edges, because these are the, what would have originally been cast away. They're just so beautiful. You don't want to do that. You going to get different colours or different types of yarn but this collection here would be our neutrals so you're going to get something similar you could get something very much similar to that or slightly different but it's going to be neutrals this is your blues I'm going to be very, very careful. Kirsty, my floor manager, I did promise I wouldn't touch these because I know what's going to happen. Stay right there. Then we've got the pinks. <laughs> we've got the pinks for you. And then we've got the greens. Do you know what? I've got to tell you as well, there's a multicolour option as well, which is going to have all different colours in it. Whichever one, I could shut my eyes and pick what, any one of those. I really wouldn't mind whether it's neutrals, blues, pinks, multicolour or green. They are absolutely gorgeous. And at 9 99 for 250 grams, that is going to go a long way. 574-213 if you want to go for your extras. 
Oh, I do, I'm loving this show. Now, the scissors, if you want the scissors on their own, you're booking it off of those as well. So maybe if you just want them for your general dressmaking or, or cutting through those uh, those thick yarns or multi layers of yarns, $14.99 is the price for the scissors on their own. They've got eight and a half inch blades on them. They are super sharp, so do be careful, obviously, with any scissors. 552 816 is the item number. Now, if you're loving what you're seeing and you're thinking, do you know, I want something different, I'm not a soft crafter, you don't need to be you don't need to have a sewing machine at all we can offer you a whole starter kit that is going to include all of the three different projects so that would be the rug that would be um, the bouquet and the cushion as well now you won't get three sets of tools you don't need them you only need the one set of tools and you won't get the scissors in that one 69.99 is the price that is your Ragged Life Multi Easy Peasy Rug Cushion and Bouquet Starter Kit. Absolutely fabulous value there. There is a freedom price on it and it's a why not deal. So you've got a saving there, a £7 I believe it is. And uh, do you know what? If you're putting your postage on top, if you're not a freedom member, look what you're saving. It just adds up, doesn't it? So it's a why not deal. Cheaper, much easier to be a freedom member and get that discount and you are saving even though you're paying out for that freedom membership. We have got a freedom flexi on this as well. The price is two payments of £31.49. and pence. Amazing. Fabulous. Do you know, so many lovely, lovely projects. We don't want to get back to Elspeth, though. She's doing such an amazing job. Hope you're enjoying the show. Let's head back over to the other side of the studio and see what Elspeth has got in store. Thanks, Catherine. I think you're kind of hooked by now. I'm going to see you in the <laughs> corner having a little bit of a rag rug. Um, so, obviously, I've been hearing that the rug is obviously our best seller. So many people, when they think of rag rugging, they think, oh, lovely, plush, thick rug on the floor. That's where the history of the craft is. Uh, but I just wanted to chat about some of the other projects that obviously we've got the kits for because they're just fabulous to do as well. Um, and one of the ones that is an exclusive to Ragged Life that you won't see anywhere else is our rag rug bouquets. Um, so I'm just going to carefully grab this one here just to show to the camera. Um, so our rag rug bouquet is one of our best sellers on the Ragged Life site, perhaps because it's such a unique idea. Um, and it's the kind of thing which is just lovely to gift to people. Um, say, for example, it's someone's birthday. You could buy them a nice bouquet of fresh flowers, but that's not going to last for the rest of their life. Something that maybe kind of has some fabrics in that have sentimental value that, as we said, you don't need to water. It's just such a lovely personalized gift. Um, and the bouquet kit makes seven beautiful flowers, which makes a lovely bouquet up. Um, actually, while Catherine was having a good little play with the kits, I just rag rugged this tiny little rag rug flower onto our bouquet sheet using that blanket yarn that I had here. Um, so this is just to show you what the bouquet hessian looks like that comes in the kit. So it's all pre-hemmed. Each of these kind of seven figures of eight has got makes one flower. Um, so you can see here that I've made this flower already and I'm actually going to cut out this one that I've just made to show you exactly how it works. Um, so once they're made up, they'll look something like this lovely velvet flower here. And you can just pop all of them into a nice vase um, and they make a beautiful bouquet, as I said. So once again, carefully with the rag rug scissors so I don't snip myself. I'm just gonna cut around that hem shape that I've just filled with that blanket yarn. And as I said, that blanket yarn's so thick and soft that it really does fill those flowers quickly. I mean, I just knocked that little flower out in about seven minutes. Um, so this is a really nice project. If perhaps you just feel a bit daunted at the idea of starting a full on big rug, I know the feeling, um, or you've run out of floor space like I have, I've made so many rugs. These bouquets are the kind of thing you can do in an afternoon and they're really, really satisfying. So I'm just gonna keep cutting. So now that I've cut my little flower out, these stems, oops, she says, come with the bouquet kit. So you've got seven bouquet stems to make up your flowers. I'm just gonna take one of them out and you can assemble these flowers by either glue gunning them or stitching them. There's a few ways they're explained in the booklet, but I'm just gonna place the, the kind of stem into the flower 
and all you need to do is just fold it over and once it's done it becomes a lovely little flower on a stem that I could easily just shove that into my bouquet oh she says not glued um, <laughs> and it would make up that set so if you're someone who perhaps the idea of you know spending 30 hours making a rug doesn't exactly tickle your fancy maybe one of our smaller projects is more for you the cushions are just absolutely lovely um, in that loopy flatter technique so this one here one ball of that blanket yarn does a full cushion face so this cushion here that i'm just going to carefully grab has been done in one ball of that blanket yarn and you can see because it was a multi-coloured ball that I used it's actually self-patterned really nicely um, I didn't build in any pattern to this cushion the blanket yarn because it was a beautiful tartan that I had it made the pattern for me so if you're a lazy crafter like I certainly am sometimes and you just want an easy win um, the cushion kit's really nice because you can just get that ball of blanket yarn that already comes pre-cut into a nice strip and just make your merry way along the hessian and the nice thing is that there's very little that you can do wrong in rag rigging if you don't like a certain color if you maybe weren't sure of a certain piece you put in you can actually pull them out from the back if you want to and re-rag rig it I often get asked this is the main question that I get asked at every show that I do um, what stops these pieces from falling out of the hessian? What's to stop my, you know, cat plucking at it and it pulling all these pieces out? The secret of good rag rigging is in the hessian. When you get the correct weave of hessian, it's tight enough that it'll really, really secure your pieces into the hessian so that they won't fall out. Um, if you use a weave of hessian that isn't correct, they're just not going to lock in perhaps. And the last thing, as I said, that you want is for that beautiful rag rug that you've slaved over in front of the TV in the evenings to start shedding. If you rag rug um, into a nice weave of hessian and you follow the kind of spacing that we kind of put in our techniques booklet, these are so secure and hard wearing that you can actually put them in the washing machine. Um, so you can, if you want to do the old traditional way of beating your rug outside, but they're pretty heavy. Um, so every now and then I've got one in front of my kitchen, um, which obviously gets a whole load of mess on it, sauce from time to time. Every year I'll shove it in the washing machine, put it on a cool wash. I'll choose a nice day, put it outside because uh, they are quite thick. So they do take a while to dry but it actually fluffs them up. Um, and as Catherine mentioned, one of the beautiful things about rag rugs is you can really weave memories into your pieces. Um, so my mum is who taught me how to rag rug. And um, I look at her rag rugs that are in our family home. And there are so many of them that I can recognize mine and my brother's children's clothing in them. <laughs> I think there's even like an old school uniform in one of them, um, which must have been very therapeutic to cut up, I reckon. So um, yeah, rag rigging, using up what you've already got, particularly in these days where perhaps you can't go to the shops as you used to. If you've got a ball of blanket yarn to start you off, you can then have a little bit of a rummage in the wardrobe, see what you can find. <laughs> it's nice having a little bit of a <laughs> clear out from time to time. Um, so other little things that I was going to show you with the bouquets and in fact with other pieces as well you can play around with the rag rug techniques so some of you sharp eyed watchers have possibly noticed that this flower here that I'm holding up does not look like that shaggy technique that I did to start with it does not look exactly like that for sure. Well, the beautiful thing about with the spring tool is you can play around with the shaping of your pieces. So with that flower, the one that I just made, this nice little kind of small pink flower, I cut my strips around the gauge as I demoed earlier. But what I did was I just rounded off the ends of the pieces. And you can do these as a nice big pile. So they almost look like a little pill. And then when you pull those pieces through the hessian, it gives you this beautiful kind of like, I don't know, almost rose effect where the pieces fold in on themselves and those rounded edges just look really lush. 
It's not something that I would recommend for doing a big rug um, because obviously all of that individual shaping wastes a bit of your beautiful blanket yarn and it obviously takes a bit of time. But if you're doing something lovely and decorative, perhaps a brooch or something like that, um, yeah. Doing a bit of shaping is always going to look great. Elspeth, I'm just thinking there, when you're saying about uh, the different shapes and you can create sort of a rose look, if you've got fabrics the same sort of shade but slightly darker to lighter, mm. you could really create that look of a rose with the depth of colour oh. in the centre and working out to the lighter petals. Absolutely. I'm thinking as well, watching you do the, the florals there, how wonderful they are to, to sort of, they're, they're like pom-poms really aren't they and I'm just I can just imagine those all on the stitched onto a, as the side of a bag as well to oh. make a really sort of chunky bag so it really is endless what you can achieve with it now we have had some questions coming in um, mm -hmm. we've had quite a few emails in actually Elspeth oh. and it's everybody's loving seeing somebody new here another new supplier of course but one of the main questions we've had is about the rug mm -hmm. Now you did mention during the demonstration that with the blanket yarn that comes with the rug mm -hmm. um, it's not enough to do the whole rug. How much more are we likely to need? So I think I briefly alluded to it earlier but now I'll just try and make it as clear as possible. This loopy technique uses half the amount of fabric as that longer shaggy technique. So you need different amounts of blanket yarn for the rug for this loopy style and that shaggy style there. So with the loopy style, this one on the back, you'll need four balls to complete your rug. So all you need to do is buy an additional three balls because obviously one comes with your kit. With that shaggy one, it really does eat fabric. You're looking at another seven balls, so eight balls in total to complete your rug. But as I mentioned earlier, one of the beautiful things about rag rigging is all those different textures. So if you're thinking, oh, you know, do I want to spend all that money on the blanket yarn? You can buy a few balls so you get that plush, thick coziness. But you can add in some T-shirts, some shirts, uh, you know, see whose clothing in your household you can steal while they're not looking. No, actually ask their permission. <laughs> um, and, you know, that's the beauty of rag rigging, experimenting with the different fabrics using up some patterned ones, plain ones, even fabrics that you don't think are that exciting, um, when you rag rug with them, you get a completely different look. So this kind of fabric that I've rag rugged here, I think it looks like a hydrangea personally, but it was just a fairly ugly top, um, but it happened to have the blend of the colours of a hydrangea in it. Um, and it wasn't something I liked as a pattern, but once you cut it up, you lose the pattern. Um, I've used things like noddy, I don't know what they're called, um, sheets before, an old duvet cover. You can get really inventive, like that's the lovely thing about rag rigging. Go have a search in the, in the cupboard. Definitely. Thank you, Elspeth. Let's have a little bit of a recap to finish. Do you know, I love this idea so much because I'm big on upcycling myself and I, I think lots of you are going through your wardrobes and your houses at the minute looking for what you can find to cut up. Now, many of you are going for the full collection. With the full collection, remember, there is a flexi-buy option as well. So it's two payments of £31.50. You're going to get the instructions to create the rug, also the cushion and, of course, the floral bouquet as well. Uh, you will get the materials. You'll get one set of tools included in there as well if you're going for the full collection those tools are made to last as well so you don't need a separate uh, collection of tools for each project 204597 is the item number if you want to go for that and as many of you are now if you do want to go for just the rug I'm just going to open out the Hessian again this is the finished size of it remember you are getting a ball of the yarn included so as Elspeth said there if you want to use some of that in the rug and then add in your own fabrics you can do or maybe just go with your own fabrics onto the Hessian and keep that wool for something else. You have got those options. Great price because when you think that it does include those wonderful tools, which are absolutely essential. You've also got the technique books as well as the instructions themselves. And this is a really, really lovely little book. I've been flicking through this as Elspeth has been demonstrating and there's so much information in there. Now, remember, of course, if you want to get the scissors, you can go for the option with the scissors including at the bottom of the screen. That's the deluxe version. Just remember at the bottom of the screen for the scissors one. Now, I'm just, just before, I know this isn't the rug, but I just had to pull this from the back. 
just to remind you about those sunflowers isn't that fabulous now you can go with the loopy or the more the the shaggy look in, in the center there it just works beautifully let's just move to the cushion though because i've brought another sample forward i love 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 this blue um denims cottons whatever you want to cut up but that is just gorgeous so it's different shades but with the cushion kit of course you are going to get the hessian and it is important the type of hessian that you have and this has been chosen specifically for this technique of course so the hessians in there you can see the size 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters is the size of the face of the cushion you're going to get some of the yarn in there of course you're going to get your tools in there again the instructions and of course that technique's book bottom of the screen for the version with the scissors in remember side without I've going to be very quick because I want to go through the floral bouquet as well before we run out of time because we've got very little time left I did grab this from the back isn't that fabulous absolutely wonderful brooches you know put them on your bags do whatever you don't have to make florals but you do get the sticks again you've got the choice without the scissors or the choice with you've got the full instructions and of course you've got the hesse in there to make seven of those flowers 454183 very quickly at the bottom of the screen your yarn don't forget the extra balls of yarn you can get those different colors Elspeth thank you so so much wish we've got longer don't go anywhere though we've got another fabulous guest coming up <laughs> 